Well, hello, hello. Here's the background of this video. I found this strange spider egg sac in the air conditioning unit in my home. Because my home is infested with huntsman spiders, I can only assume it's a egg sac from one of those spiders. I studied this egg sac for about a week and nothing happened. So let's go in and open it up and see what crawls out from this egg sac. Well, about five or six days have passed since we last looked at this. Um, is what? It's an egg sac from a spot. I've done some looking up on the internet um, about this and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to do that because I don't understand when this was made. The, they say the incubation period um, for these, well it's very hard to find exact data but they say about three weeks. So I'm either going to find underdeveloped spiderlings in there or I'm going to find overcooked or possibly dead spiderlings in there or I'm just going to find well, who knows? Um, but I'll put it up against the light. It still looks green inside. Let's have a look at that. Looking at this egg sac with a light behind it, we can see that there's something in there, all little globules or something. It certainly still looks green, and we're going to have to cut it open to find out exactly what we've got. You know, I did a fair bit of reading up on the intranets about um, spider egg sacs, and, well, it was a little bit hard to find out some really good information, but after a fair bit of reading, uh, I read that the spiders actually come along and open these up and I'm going to open a little hole up on this apparently the spiderlings can't make their own way out so whatever's in there um, you know if they're alive well I'm the new mum um, I've only seen uh, I've, I've never seen an egg sac before but I have seen in my house when huntsmen um, have their babies come out and you have a whole ceiling. You can look up, you'll see one spider drop down on the bit of web and you'll have a whole ceiling of um, very cute looking little black dots which are all swarming around and they're basically baby huntsmen. Um, apparently a lot of those get eaten up along the way. Uh, not many really go through to become adults. Let's have a close up of what I've opened up there. You know it's funny as a kid I was never that curious about nature but as I've grown older uh, I've, you tend to be very curious about it. You tend to take, I tend to take a lot more notice of what's going on. Oh, I tell you what, this thing looks alien. Uh, it looks <laughs> not of this world, um, what I'm seeing in there. Fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Well, let's have a closer look again. I think the other thing I should say is I did weigh this. It hasn't changed in weight, and it hasn't changed in size in the last couple of days, so for all I know, this uh, egg sac could be something from the long distant past, and it's gone well past its years by date oh man that's just so alien looking in there it's not funny you know it's just very oh there's something coming out what's that little like a little egg well i'm certainly hoping that there's someone who knows that looking at is going to come along and look at this video um i, I can't see a form in those eggs at all I, all i can see is eggs um i don't know what size these would have been uh when they were laid um I'll try and get one up here on the end of the scalpel have a closer look well there's one of the eggs all by itself um, each one of these strokes is a millimeter so we're looking at something which is almost two millimeters across I'm sorry for those in imperial land I've got no idea what that would be in imperial language I'm sure someone can lay a comment in it that I can then relate to the Mournfer area but I can't see any form in this egg at all of a spider I'm just gonna do a bit of brain solid surgery here and see what's inside. I can't look, it's just gooiness inside. It'll have to go down as one of my strangest videos on YouTube. I normally don't do this, but of course I've had a spider infestation in my house and oh, it's just liquid. Look at that. There'll be an entomologist out there who'll explain all this, I'm sure. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping there's some intellectual people uh, looking at this stuff. Well, I'll come in and I'll open the rest of this sack up and I'll just have a look at how many eggs there are in here. And I think the thing that is quite impressive here is just how, I mean, I can feel it. The strength in this in this sack is amazing. And not just that, it's just brilliantly white. It's um, probably just coming up as a big white blur on the, on the screen. It's very hard to uh, get an exposure on it because I'm shooting against black and it's like snow white. Beautiful, but it's, boy, it's strong. I mean, I've got a brand new scalpel here, and it's it's a bit of pressure to cut through it. Whoa, look at that. Oh, God. 
Just think in there, each one of those, if they're huntsman eggs, which I'm pretty sure these are, has well there's potentially a spider as big as a dinner plate. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm opening this up and I can't help but think of that film Aliens. And remember the big mother alien and how protective she was of of her field of eggs? And that's the part that many people uh, tend to forget with the huntsman spiders. They say, oh, they're totally harmless and they're, they're like little friends and, you know, all the rest of it. But when they're protecting their egg sacs and their little ones, they can become very, very aggressive. And that's when they tend to, um, well, do things they normally don't do. But, you know, it takes a bit of reading to understand that. Um, and also, the other part is people say they're harmless. Well, go and speak to anyone who's had one drop down on, on them in a car when they're driving. And then do some deeper reading and find out some statistics behind car accidents. And then you may say something totally different about them being deadly spiders. Well, you can see why I'm not a, um, a brain surgeon and why I'm a video producer. Imagine me working on your brain. <laughs> <laughs> a big mess. I'm going to try and show you how tough this egg sac is. I mean, it's very hard to work down when you're looking down inside a camera, and I'm hoping this is in focus and whatever else. But I've got two sets of tweezers on there. Apart from it being slimy, it is incredibly strong. I mean, it. it I mean, it really is strong. It's um, hoping you can see the tension that I'm putting on between pulls there. I mean, that's the amazing thing with spiders. They've got some incredible uh, abilities in their realm. You quite often you know, hear people say, and it's something that I say, is that for every huntsman that has basically 200 eggs. But whether there's 200 eggs in here, <laughs> I mean half the eggs in here have been annihilated by me, uh, it'd be very hard to tell unless you're going to go out and you know, be very picky and count all these up. But um, working down inside my camera, I'm not looking at this in real life if that makes sense, I'm looking down through my camera, so it makes it very very difficult to do anything. I don't know how people do work when they're looking down microscopes. I think it, it must take a long time to adjust to that type of work. It almost feels like my hands are on a different body. Certainly by the mess that I'm making, I'm proving that. In not a very technical way, I've removed the eggs from the egg sac. And I've, I've counted this and there's about 80. Uh, there's no near 200. Um, but it's very interesting indeed. I mean, I, I don't know if I've learned anything in this. I don't know whether you've learned anything in this, but I'm sure that where we'll learn stuff is when people come in and make comments about <clears throat> what I've shown here because well basically I know nothing I'm not an entomologist I'm obviously not a rocket scientist I'm not a brain surgeon I'm just a guy who makes videos and possibly on that note it's probably best to say thank you for watching and bye for now